Hey everyone, I'm here today to show you how to bake a financial pie chart. Now this is just something random that the nerd in me wanted to do, so if you're a nerd like me, you'll get it and you're gonna like it. And if you're not a nerd, then you will probably still find this interesting because that's what Jared did. He thought it was something neat to see. Uh, the reason I just randomly decided to do this was I was reading this book called The Good Life for Less and she has just a little bitty section where she talks about doing the financial pie chart and it just kind of shows you where you're spending your money which you can see that in your budget but this this I think is definitely helpful helpful for somebody who's new to budgeting who's never tracked where their spending's going so for me I mean we've been doing it a lot we know that we are have a good handle on our finances but it was still nice to see and like I said for the nerd in me it, sh it, would, it was just something fun to do so First, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it, and I'm gonna give you some other references to percentage of your income, how you should be handling handling your income, and I'm gonna show you mine, and I'm also gonna show you how to do it. So if you are not very good in Excel, I'll show you how to make one, it's really easy, and if you are an Excel whiz, then you can just skip over that part. But first, let me show you this. Okay, now I'm sure most of you are familiar with this, you Dave Ramsey lovers. But these are Dave Ramsey's recommended percentages for how much of your money should go where. The thing about this pie chart and making one of these is they're all going to be different. Yours is going to be different from mine, just like our budgets are all different. One reason I've never got around to doing this and seeing what percentage of my money is going where is because I wasn't sure what to put in what category, what categories to use. Like, number one, we definitely we don't have debts except for our house which goes into housing we don't have all these categories that Dave has so first I had to choose the categories that I wanted and here he tells you the recommended percentages these are just recommended so first thing that I had to do was I had to pick out the categories that would go well for creating my pie chart and then I had to pick go through my budget and see what needed to go in what category now I'm not going to show my detailed budget I do have a video where I talk about our detailed budget and I'll put that below if you want to check it out. Okay, I'll talk more about a little more about this as I'm going through our pie chart, but the first thing I did was I had to look through my budget and pick the categories that I wanted to use. So here's the ones I'm using, giving, daycare, utilities, housing, saving, food, transportation, personal slash recreation, and then sinking funds, which I said is a type of savings. Okay, and then I had to go through my budget and pick what I want to put for each category. Some of them were kind of hard, like I have over here gifts. Did I want to put that under giving or personal? We decided to put it under giving. Another one we weren't sure of is like when we set aside money for vacations, do we want to put that under our sinking funds category or saving? Well, we decided to go with sinking funds and we decided to keep saving as more of money that we're not really going to touch and then our seeking funds, like I said, is a type of savings that we are eventually going to use maybe monthly, once a year, or whatever. So that was the first thing that I had to do. Okay, so here's what our pie chart for February ended up looking like. And I chose lots of pretty colors, tried to play around with it a lot just to make it look as nice as possible. So the first thing I had to do was look through my February budget and total up what we spent in each of these categories. So I'll show you this in Excel. But first I just listed out the different categories, the amount spent in each one, and then I went ahead and put in a formula that calculates the percentage, and then I created the pie chart. And you can edit the pie chart all kinds of different ways, but I thought this looked the best. I like rainbowish type colors, so there it is. This is what we spent on everything for the month of February, and this is how it was divided up. Doesn't that look pretty? I actually did a little bit of research and I didn't look for any more videos related to this topic on YouTube, but I kind of Googled and looked at different blogs and articles. So there's other suggested um, percentages just like Dave has. There's different opinions out there if you want to go check them out. I'll put a couple links below that I was looking at and then people split theirs up different ways. But like I said, this is how I chose to do it. So it's really up to you, but let me show you how to do this now in Excel. I don't have any programs on my computer where I can show myself working in Excel, so I'm just kind of showing the computer. But go ahead and start you a new tab. Top up your categories. Daycare slash JoJo. 
If you want to extend that over, you can just double click this to extend it. I'm not going to let you watch me type everything up, but basically you know how to type all this stuff into Excel. Once you total it up, I'll go ahead and just copy and paste this over, or let me just copy this part. Okay, those numbers show up. The number sign shows up when there's not enough space. So just double click to get the right width. Okay, and we don't have our total right here yet, so that's why it's not showing the percentages. If you're not familiar with how to get the total of all of these dollar amounts, you click to go to this box, you hit equal, type in sum, parentheses, highlight all of these, do your close parentheses, hit enter. And there it gives you the total of all of your B cells. All right, let me delete these and show you how to do the percentages. The percentage you're just gonna do equals, take what we spent on daycare, click it, and you can see right here. And then you're gonna do divided by, divided by the total amount spent, and that will give you the percentage. Hit enter. And when you first do that, it will probably not give you a percentage. So you're gonna go over here and change that to percentage. Alrighty. Okay, and go ahead and do that for all of them. Equals that divided by that. Enter. Okay, so now we're just gonna add our pie chart. So what you do is you can just select the info that you want to make into a pie chart. And then I'm gonna go up here to insert. And there's the pie charts. You can do all kinds of pies. We're gonna go ahead and just do a regular 2D pie. And there it is. Okay, let's make it bigger. Also, as you can tell, these are in order from smallest to largest. I didn't have it like that at first, but that's how I wanted it to look in my pie chart, just to go from the smallest slice to the biggest slice and if you're not familiar with how to if you put in all your information and then you're like oh I want mine smallest to largest if you're not familiar with that what you do is you go up here to sort and filter custom sort okay we're gonna sort by B the B column which is our amounts well it should say B I don't know why it's messing up and smallest to largest and that will sort it for you smallest to largest and you can go in here and you can click on each piece of the pie. Well, once you click, it will select all pieces, but then you just click again and it will select one piece. So let's see, which one is that? That's our, that's our saving. We wanted saving to be the pink. So we're going to go over here and just make it pink. Okay. And then daycare, the smallest one was supposed to be red. So you click on it then go back up here and pick the color red. Okay, so after you make it the colors that you want, you can go up here to where there's chart tools. You have to uh, have this area selected and you can go up here to chart tools. Here's different other different colors options that you can make your pie. You can make it look all cool like that, but I don't want that, so we're just going to go back. And let's see, design, you can go over here, chart layouts. And you can choose, I like this one, no I do not. I like this one because it has the words and the percentages in the pie. Okay, I'm going to click on the outside and I'm going to make it bigger. And we need to move it back down. I'm going to make this part bigger. Okay, so you can just play around with it. You can click on the words and you can move them. And you can make them bigger, make the font bigger, you can bold it, not bold it, do whatever you want. You can add a legend over here if you want. You can go up here to the layout section, you can add a legend, show legend at right. See, so move it around, do whatever you need to do. But really, you should only have to do this once and then you can copy and paste it in. Do it every month just change your numbers it takes a little bit of time when you first do it i went ahead and i did march you can compare this with dave's recommended percentages if you want ours was pretty good except giving was a little low i think because we got a few extra 
random paychecks in March or made a extra money in different ways and just kind of forgot to tithe off of it. But food, I feel like we spend a lot of money on food, but it doesn't look too bad, 9%. Saving, sinking funds, the reason it's the biggest one is because we set aside a bunch of money for a trip to Florida that we're going on this summer. And so that's why, as you can see in March, our sinking fund category was 27%. And in February, it was 13%. See how I made February look the best so far. I just played kind of with the words and stuff. And then there's March. They're pretty close, except for food, 13% in February. We spent quite a bit on food. But I like also having the actual numbers over here, and then we can compare the percentages. And as you can see, there's no debts, so that's pretty exciting. If we ever got our house paid off, there would be hardly any housing. It would all be probably saving, giving, and recreation, personal slash, rec slash recreation. How cool would that be? If you're curious, the personal slash, slash recreation is really any personal money we spend on ourselves. You know, Jared playing golf, our haircuts, me getting Starbucks, um, taking the girls to Chuck E. Cheese or a dinosaur exhibit, or just any family activities that we do that goes under personal and recreation and food the food category that does include household items also that's our grocery budget and our eating out budget oh yes i've also got to mention that it's a little off because this is all our after tax income this is the money that we actually see our paychecks that we see and where that money is spent Jared has 6% going into a his 401k before taxes are taken out, so that's something that we never see, so that can throw this a little bit off. And we're actually, so we're actually saving more money, but you're not gonna see that in this pie chart. If you wanna know a little bit more about what uh, each category is composed of, the daycare slash JoJo, right now we take her to daycare once or twice a week, but we're about to put her in like gymnastics, and then she's gonna start going to a preschool in September, so that's really, all that's there for JoJo, really any activities or schooling stuff, daycare, whatever she does. Transportation includes gas, our car insurance, and our car sinking funds that we have. We have two of them. Utilities is utilities. I mean, that's our energy, our water, it's our phone bills. And it's even, I even included our Netflix in, in our utilities. I know that's probably more of a personal but it's something monthly that we pay that never changes, so I just decided to include it in utilities. Giving is money that we give to our church or any extra giving that we do, charitable gifts, gifts that we give for birthdays, baby showers, any of that stuff. Like I said, personal slash recreation is any family things we do or personal money that we spend on ourselves. Uh, sinking funds, like I said, you can go look at my detailed budget video if you're not familiar with what sinking funds that we use but it's things like Christmas our CSA stuff that we do yeah things like that food is our grocery budget and our eating out budget housing is our mortgage and like any home renovations last month we had to pay like $280 to fix our fence uh, this month we're gonna be getting a new roof and we'll have to pay a little money out of pocket so that will go under housing and then saving is is our our investments that we contribute to, which isn't much. We only contribute to Jared's Roth IRA, which is $100 a month for right now. And it's also, saving also includes JoJo's 529 plan that we have and anything that we throw like to Baby Step 3 or our Hill and Valley Fund or things like that. So really, it's just a good visual aid. Come on, we know we all love visual aids to show you where your finances are going. Back in the day before Dave Ramsey, I bet our food budget would have been probably, you know, like three-fourths of this pie because that's the one usually that people have to cut down when they first start budgeting. Probably would have been no savings, no giving. This is what Jared and I came up with and we thought it was kind of interesting. So if you decide to try it out, leave me, let me know in the comments below or if you and your family do anything like this. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Not super professional, I know, because I was kind of just having to film my computer with my camera. But let me know if you have any other questions. I hope that I was clear on everything. Yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you all next time.